you know, the worst food for your teeth is not sugar. Now, it is true that sugar does increase bacteria that make more acids that can erode your teeth, but there's a much worse type of acid that will severely erode your teeth, and it doesn't have anything to do with sugar. Of course, if we talk about fruit juice, like apple juice or orange juice is five times worse than soda for your teeth. Yeah, interesting. And I'm going to explain why that is in just a minute. Diet soda compared to regular soda. Can you take a guess what's worse for your teeth? Believe it or not, diet soda might be worse. And I'm going to explain why that is as well. Number two, candy. The stuff that you suck on, like a lollipop, for example, you're constantly exposing your teeth to a lot of sugar. And that could definitely create microbes that make more acid. Number three, powdered starches. Starches can act just like a sugar and uh, feed these microbes and create the acids. And that would be like modified food starch or modified corn starch or maltodextrin, which is in pretty much most junk foods. And then we just get liquid sugar, as in high fructose corn syrup drinks, right? And I'm talking about the ones that you have added sugar. In this case, you're not chewing. You're just bathing the teeth in just pure sugar. And just if we differentiate between natural sugars, like if you eat fruit, versus drink the juice from fruit, especially if it's pasteurized, there's a big difference. And then number five, we get into actual sodas with phosphoric acid. And believe it or not, phosphoric acid is not the worst acid for your teeth. There's another one that's actually way more dangerous, but phosphoric acid is not good. It's going to leach the calcium out of your teeth. So here you have a soda with not just liquid candy syrup, like high fructose corn syrup, but also the phosphoric acid. But there's something else in there, which I'm getting to very shortly. Number six is like the gummy bears. It sticks to your teeth. So now we have the situation where we take the sugar and we stick it to the teeth and we keep the exposure uh, there longer, which is going to increase more bacterial fermentation and more acid. And you also have the caramel too in different candies that are sticky, but the Gummy bears are at the top of the list. Now, there's other things, too, that people will talk about, like acid reflux coming up and ending up on your teeth. Of course, that's still not the acid that I'm going to talk about. The acid that is the worst for your teeth, and I'm going to just read this off of uh, some of this sugar water right here. Let's see if I could see this right here. It says water, sugar, dextrose, and citric acid. That is the worst thing for your teeth, citric acid. Now, citric acid, isn't that a natural thing? Yeah, it's in lemons and limes and things like that, but they also make it synthetically. And apparently what's unique about citric acid is that it's a very powerful chelator for calcium. If you saw my video on kidney stones, you take lemon juice. Why? Because the citric acid binds with the calcium. So it's a super strong chelator, which means to claw and bind, okay, into the mineral calcium. And so if you're consuming this in certain amounts, you're basically eroding your teeth and you're pulling this calcium out of the teeth. And what's interesting is that the pH is not even that acid. It, this is like going beyond just the acid problem. And if you ever read the label on a juice bottle, guess what they add in there? Citric acid. What do they put in diet sodas? citric acid. And out of all the citrates, it's the trisodium citrate that's the worst. And it's usually labeled as sodium citrate. So citrate is citric acid, same thing. And that is the worst acid for erosion of your teeth. Normally, like um, your pH should be slightly neutral or alkaline, okay, which is basically just slightly above seven. If the pH gets down around 5.5 or less, that's when you start to get erosion and the loss of minerals, not just calcium. You basically get demineralization of your teeth. So what does this mean in practical terms? It means that if you consume anything, you should probably take some water, gargle with it, and swish it in your mouth and spit it out just so you can clean your teeth of anything, whether it's sugar or citric acid. I think that would be a smart thing to do. And also other acids, I would highly recommend that you you know, use the same process of washing your teeth out with water after you consume apple cider vinegar. 
And of course, start reading labels to make sure you're not consuming so much citrate in these products. Now, if you're consuming like a potassium citrate or magnesium citrate, that's a different situation. That's actually bound with a mineral and you're not going to leach out your teeth. It's going to go into your digestive system and it's not going to be a problem. But anything that actually exposes the citrate to your teeth for any period of time, you have to really watch out for. Now, since we're on the topic of teeth, I think it'd be a really good idea for you to have a good recipe to make your own toothpaste. And if you want to check that out, I put it up right here.